Hello everyone, Andrea from Dynori here. I'm here to tell you about Zenroom, our crypto smart contract executor for database and blockchain. So I'm gonna show you this PowerPoint, uh, just a few slides. Then I'm gonna go through our website quickly. And later I will show you a couple of examples about how to use Zenroom once using our web-based uh, uh, demo website and once using Zenroom as a common line application. So, Zenroom in a nutshell. Zenroom is written in C, so NCC99. Uh, when built, the payload is usually around one megabyte and it runs in as little as 500 Ks of RAM, so it can run on very, very small systems. Uh, we have building scripts and uh, continuous integration building for Linux, Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS on multiple platforms. So uh, x86, x64, and ARM. Plus, we have a build for Wasm that, I'm, that I will uh, show you in action. Uh, we have uh, uh, prototype builds for embedded uh, hardware as well as binders for JavaScript, uh, Java, Go, Python, Clojure, and I think that's all. Uh, most important, Zenroom executes smart contracts in an English-like language that I will show you in a minute. One more slide. Selected features, Zenroom, offers fully deterministic end-to-end -end encryption, where end-to-end -end means that you can uh, encrypt uh, something on, uh, on an Android phone, uh, decrypt it on iOS, and do some more operations in the browser, and uh, do some more encryption or decryption in a server. So um, uh, Zenroom runs in a fully deterministic mode, Meaning that, for example, the generation of a random number given the same random seed and the same parameters would generate the same random number of every platform it runs on. Uh, Zenroom performs what we call traditional cryptography, so symmetric and asymmetrics, as well as zero knowledge proof and ZK snarks, where ZK snarks is a, an offline version of zero knowledge proof running in smart contract that is currently used uh, in blockchains. Uh, in terms of curves, uh, Zenroom can use different curves. Uh, we can do a elliptic curve pairing, elliptic curve uh, Diffie Hellman, hashing, and signing for multiple blockchains. Uh, currently, Zenroom supports uh, Bitcoin and all its derivatives. We can do signature and hashing for Hyperledger Sawtooth, for Cosmos Network, and we're working on Ethereum as well. Our website, so the source code, you find it on GitHub here. Uh, we have a download page on our main website that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Documentation page is dev.zenroom.org, and our web-based demo is on dev.zenroom.org slash demo which is where I'm going next. So, quickly on our website, zenroom.org. Here you can submit to our webinars. We have uh, usually one per month. Uh, we scroll down. Here you have our source code, our documentation, and our web demo. And down here you have uh, all our downloads. So Linux, Windows, Mac, command line, x64. We don't have a build for x86, but uh, obviously we can do that. Uh, Windows is uh, x86, Mac OS x86, x64. Uh, this, those are builds of uh, Zenroom as a library. So Android, ARM, uh, X, uh, ARM64, and x86, iOS, and below we have uh, package. We, we have bindings and packages. So we have a Gen, a Zenroom written in Wasm. We have an npm package for uh, to, to be used in JavaScript. 
Python bindings and Golang. Let's go on a little bit. Let's open the web-based demo that we also call Sandbox. So this uses Zenroom transcompiled in Wasm. Uh, so the cryptography and the smart contract ex execution that you see here runs in the browser. Let's start with the examples. Let's pick a very simple one, generate a key pair. So let's look at the, how the smart contract is written. Scenario, simple, create the key pair. Given that I'm known as, and this is my, my user name, let's, let's, say, let's say it's Andrea. When I create the key pair, then print all my data. I execute it pressing run, and I see the output down here. Uh, let's try with a more complicated smart contract. Uh, let me reload this just, just to be sure. Sign a message using public key encryption. This is a slightly more complicated smart contract that uses two input, uh, input data uh, to be executed because it uses the key pair of the individual signing and then given that I'm an Rosalis and I have a key pair, when I write a string, uh, when I create the signature, okay, it, this uh, signs a message using the private key of Alice and the public key of Bob, which you can find here. Uh, we can change, uh, yeah, the draft. This is my sign, I can change it to something else. I can write hello world. And I can run it again like the previous one. So here we'll have, this is, this is the, the name of the object, this is the content, which is the encryption of this hello world. And this is the cryptographic signature that contains, uh, that contains both the public key of Alice as well as the public key of, uh, of Bob. Uh, what I'm gonna try now, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you how to use uh, Zenroom as a command line application. So let's go back to our first smart contract that generates a key pair, which is this one. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go back. Well, I'm gonna go, not go back, to a terminal where I am using my Raspberry Pi. So here I'm using a build of Zenroom for, uh, uh, for Linux ARM. I can launch Xandrum as a common application like this. Not much is gonna happen. Now it's a waiting for input. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, a file and write the smart contract in it. So let's do nano contract dot I'm gonna paste this here. Uh, create the key pair. Given it on my Zellis, when I create the keeper, then print all the data. Yes, this should be fine. I save it and then I run it Zen room minus Z contract dot Zen. And here in the bottom, I have my key pair in the same way you saw it below. You saw it in the, in, uh, in the website. Um, next thing I'm going to show how to, to save the output of the smart contract into files. So we do Zenroom and Z contract dot Zen pipe T uh, key dot JSON. So this should redirect the output into key dot JSON. Then I can later use uh, somewhere else. Let me look at, yes, key dot JSON was saved. And it should have saved only the key pair, not, uh, not uh, the, 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 the usage log uh, above. Let's look at the content, now no key.json. Here we go. Yeah, it's not formatted pretty, but I can, I can copy it and, uh, 
and place it in a pretty JSON. Yeah, it's the same format as the one you saw above. Okay. And uh, obviously the, the key I'm using here, I could be using it in the browser uh, as well as in a mobile application, which makes it end-to-end -end encryption. Okay, so that was my video. Uh, for, for anybody who, have, who has question, you can write me at andrea at dime.org. Thank you. Bye.